Hello, this is David D. E. Hilster. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. Today, I'm going to talk about Einstein and money. It's a pretty interesting story. Uh, it's sort of interesting because today we know that Nat Geo has just finished that big genius series with all the Oscar-winning people and the big production. And you get things, of course, interest in Einstein. And you see this headline, Einstein's letters letters on God, Israel, and physics fetch $210,000. And here's uh, uh, illusionist, Israeli illusionist, uh, magician and uh, uh, illusionist Yuri Geller showing a letter from the Nobel Prize winning physicist that's now in his possession. But the truth is, just like Einstein's theories itself, it's in somewhat of a decline. And we can see this by if we look at um, in back in 2012, in the early 2010s, tens, we can see that the hube, we saw that the image was of Einstein was being challenged. GM came out with this image, ideas are sexy too, e equals mc squared, Einstein, he's the man. Of course, you know, the idea is, you know, brains can be sexy, and they put this on there. And of course, the university, Einstein, before his death, willed all his, the use of his image and his theories and, and his works to a university in Israel. Uh, he was, of course, Jewish, and they were making a killing off of that. Hebrews University's rights to Einstein's image lapse, a U.S. court says. So they, in 2009, this advertisement uh, was went out, and, of course, they took him to court. And what turned out and it, what happened is they ruled that uh, such intellectual property rights for uh, it says, which provides protection for such intellectual property rights for 70 years, but judge ruled that the laws of New Jersey, where Einstein lived, should apply. New York, uh, New York, uh, New Jersey has no relevant law. The judge ruled that the federal law only recognizes rights to 50 years. So it turns out that the Israel, the university, uh, actually lost this, and GM was, went on its way using this advertisement. It turns out that the scientist's identity, identity was generating about two, $10 million a year. The university count, countered that the real figures of royalties since 2000 was $1.5 to $2 million a year. But both sources at the university said the revenues from the rights of Einstein name and image have declined substantially now less than a million dollars a year. And that is happening because why? It's, it used to be a lot worth a lot of money, but we still continually try to pump money, money into this. Let's take a look further down uh, in today. So you get a little bit of history, and that is the university owns those rights. Then people are trying to use his image, Einstein's image, across the the world, and they're getting challenged, and it's losing it. And they're claiming now that they don't have much money. Of course, it's making more money. They're not going to tell how much money, if there, especially if there's taxes involved, and they don't want to declare it all, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, uh, it turns out that this year, uh, or last year in 2016, uh, Forbes listed the top. Uh, dead celebrities. He's number nine. Now, wait a minute. If he gets $1.5 million, and back then they said only he's only making a little bit, how did he earn that? Well, it turns out that he had a licensing deal with Salesforce's new artificial intelligence project that helped push it to $11.5 million. And in fact, if you look at Salesforce, he introduced Einstein artificial intelligence and Einstein Vision brings advanced image recognition to the platform. So, yes, a lot of people who sort of, they, I think there's a lot of people who have money, like Ron Howard and uh, the uh, CEO of, of Salesforce. Well, they can so throw, they got to no, donate money anyway, so they throw it in the university's direction. It's going to be uh, 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 um, tax-free. They sort of get not just, oh, we're supporting science and Einstein, the genius, and blah, blah, blah. We're using that. Of course, Einstein, oh, yes, we can use that, just, just in case you didn't know. Uh, but it's, it's quite interesting. And um, 
that uh, another give you give me an example further back in 2001 this is the article so it's about se uh, 16 years ago uh, Steven Spielberg who is also Jewish paid the uh, for his latest movie artificial in intelligence oh, one million dollars to the university as well the Hebrew University for the use of about three seconds of Einstein image in the movie artificial intelligence this was of course when people were not challenging it and they they knew of course they uh, had to pay for the right of that because of the the uh, we're from the University of in Israel uh, US money Einstein gave it this of course they they do it because their love of Einstein and relativity it's so useful right <laughs> shoot me right right so this goes to show you uh, again I'm a little out of the timeline but the history here you can see that you know it's it made money uh, people push it and, and again this whole thing with Nat Geo now of course how does that translate to Nat Geo Nat Geo of course as Ron Howard, who's out there talking about, well, we got to put scientists up there. Now they're starting to say, well, this is a new thing where we only get like little vignettes of documentary kind of things with Einstein. We're going to go and get those whole stories and those dramatic things. <laughs> it's a dramatic story, but you can make dramatic stories almost about anybody's life. And of course, Einstein's is a very interesting life because he was one of the first superstars ever. Uh, and not, not alone uh, a scientist. But, you know, that crazy hair has become an icon just like uh, from Bra from Brazil you get Carmen Miranda in the fruit that's an icon that icon is way bigger than actually Einstein himself you ask the person on uh, on the street oh Einstein he's brainy smart hair all that kind of stuff you ask him what he who he was most people on the street won't know who he was uh, scientist is he a physicist chemist I don't know what's his what's his theory don't know so but these people put a lot of energy and time, and Genius was watched. The last night was the finale of the first season of Genius. Oh, no, please. They've got this only the first season. Please just put me out of my misery. I'm glad I'm not watching this because I, my TV, my beautiful TV here would have been smashed a long time ago because it's... They are worshiping and glorifying this, but of course it was watched by more than 45 million people. Great marketing, great story, great drama. The science is bad. And this is only going to make it worse and harder for us who know Einstein's wrong to, to go against him. So this just goes to show you how much money Einstein is worth, how much money theoretical physicists get, billions, billions and billions of dollars for their particle accelerators. And as you saw, if you want to see these, this double talk and ridiculousness of them, read the Higgs fake by our friend Alexander Unsiger. I did a piece on him yesterday. Sorry about the audio. I'm still getting the audio on doing these recordings. And it is quite amazing how much money is pumped in. If you make your money on this stuff, you're going to try to keep making it. And their intentions of these people are good, but all the intellectuals, all those people in Hollywood who become famous, who aren't that smart, no offense, aren't that smart, but then start talking about science and all this stuff and we've got to do this, they don't check this stuff. They believe it. They believe the recipe. I read this. And I am going to regurgitate it back. Yes, Einstein's theory of relativity sorts GPS. The GPS would be off miles if it wasn't for real relativity. Wrong. That's a lie. So they don't check it. So we continue. Now we have 45 million people being brainwashed about Einstein and how great. But I will tell you, it is falling. It is changing. Einstein image is not making what it used to be. The only reason he made a lot of money this year because it was boosted up. Students aren't being taught it in some high schools because it's boring and irrelevant. Engineers look at and laugh at all this stuff, including th theoretical physicists, physics in general. It's only those intellectuals who pretend to be smart, those nerds who want to be loved. I'm a nerd, so I can say this. But those are the people who perpetuate something without checking. And they basically have come to us, many of them said, look, 
he may this may all be wrong but I don't want to change now I'm too tired I'm too old I don't want to fight I get make my living off of black holes even though we haven't really found the evidence for black holes like we thought we should those kinds of things anyways I hope you enjoyed this little bit of if you didn't know about Einstein and his image and money and what's going on I hope you got a little bit different version of what things what th how things are really happening in this Nat Geo world which is against the Trumps and the climate denier change or deniers what what we do is we sacrifice truth and science it has nothing to do with climate change on a guy whose theories are wrong and remember don't take what anyone says on faith stay critical stay thinking I'm Dave D. Hilscher your science therapist ciao for now